Okay guys, welcome back. It's Saturday morning here. It's about 6.45. Um, we got our pit up to about 300 degrees. Um, today we're going to be doing beef brisket. I heard this is one of the toughest things to, to slow cook, so we're going to try it out. We got two here. We got uh, one 12.3 pounder and one 12.5 pounder. Um, what we're going to do is we got one of them done in a Texas style, the bigger one. Um, in a pepper and salt you know, rub and this one the smaller one is um, on a um, has a sweet mesquite uh, spice that I got from uh, you know, Costco you know about a month or two ago I figured I'd try it out see what happens so basically we'll get these things in and we're going to uh, you'll be able to let them go for about an hour and then after that we're going to uh, start every about a half hour to 45 minutes we're going to be mopping them or spraying them depending on which one it is and uh, that way to keep it nice and moist during the whole cook this average is going to be probably about 40 to 40 minutes to an hour per pound so we're looking at about a good 12 13 hour cook on these um, I'm trying to keep my pit around 250 so that we when it hits the stall point about 160 internal temp we're going to take and we're going to um, you, you, instead of pulling these we're going to put some butcher paper on them uh, or temp to anyway. So let's get these things going. Let's get them in. Let's start with the bottom one first. And we're going to put the point towards the back. That way, that's where a lot of the heat is. And we got our drip pans in here to catch hopefully most of these drippings. Of course, my hands are all messed up. Yeah. Okay, let's get this one. And this is the big ones. This one's going to be rough. Nice, huge. Yeah, it's going to be right at the limit. All right, guys, we got these in here. We're gonna let this thing go. And I'll see you back in about an hour or so when we get ready to start mopping these things. And uh, if y'all notice, I got another, I got a big tray now. I got I bought two of these the other day, a full, you know, big sheet. Because a lot of stuff I'm doing now is starting to get huge. So anyway, we'll see y'all guys back here in an hour and we'll start mopping. All right, guys, we're back. It's been a little bit over an hour. We're going to uh, mop these. Um, I have a Carolina barbecue sauce that I made um, to go on the, the smaller brisket. And I did a um, another mop for the bigger one. This is a Texas style. It has um, apple cider vinegar, apple juice, uh, hot pepper uh, flakes, hot, hot red pepper flakes, um, cayenne pepper, a little bit of that. It's got brown sugar, a little bit of brown sugar, and that's it. Things all we put in that one. So I got two different mop heads here because I got a plate to put them on. But we're going to do the Carolina one first since it's the one on the bottom. And our pit's maintaining about 225 ish. And we'll we got a little bit of steam here from the. So we got the. Let me pull the. Both trays out here so we can mop them. I've got my Carolina sauce on it. It says trial and error, guys. Trial and error here. here just to give it keep this thing moist I'm gonna keep the water pan below it so it'll keep everything good all right I'll just 
my head off. Put it over here. Put the other mop head on. bigger one. I'll pull the heat probe off. If I can help it. Alright, let's get this one mopped up. Let's see what we got here. We just want to keep these moist. We don't want to... We don't want to go overboard on it. We got the water pan down here to catch most of this, hopefully. That doesn't stick to it. These briskets are looking really good. I said the one on top is going to get a little bit more heat because the heat on this thing comes down from the top the inside so okay we got that one on there now let's see if we can get these back in here there we go alright guys we got those mopped up and we're gonna pitch drop to about 150 but it'll come back um, in about 10 minutes or so but about, about 45 minutes we're gonna do this again and I'm not going to show you every mopping that I do so anyway when we get closer to the end um, I'll start filming again and we'll give you a little update so you can see how the how it's coming out how the color is developing on it and the bark and uh, we'll see y'all guys back then All right, guys, we're back. It's been about four, uh, about five hours now. Time to pull the first one out to get it wrapped. This was one that was on the top earlier. And uh, let me get this underneath here. A little bit easier. Pull my probe out. Try to get this out of here without spilling too much juices. All right, guys. Okay, why don't you look at the bark on that thing? Got some serious bark on that. My attempt to wrap this. First time I've used butcher paper and this wind doesn't want to cooperate. Of course. got it wrapped now and um, let's see if we can get her back in there without actually she's my other glove since she's already messed up 
be back in there. And the other one should be ready to come off in about probably another hour since this one was up on the top initially. The one I have out now. So I'm gonna pull this out. Put it back in there. go guys opening about an hour we come out here and we'll do the second one and we'll get it ready to, 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 put, to put in the paper and like I said it's be a long time to wait so but it's gonna be worth it see y'all guys in a few all right guys we're back it's been a little bit over an hour and uh, the second one finally hit 160 so we're gonna be pulling it out Pit's maintaining about 225, 230. I'll pull this bad boy out. Okay. Pull the probe out. Ooh, that thing's bubbling. Uh, nothing looking pretty. Uh, get some of this stuff out of here. Uh, there's juices out of here. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get one of those water trays out. All right, let's get this thing wrapped and see what we can do here. Did a little bit better job on the paper on this one. Didn't get quite as nice and extra. Get it back in here. All right, let me get the probe in and we'll. Alright guys, we got the probes in and uh, got it wrapped. So let it go until the internal temperature reaches about 190, 195. And uh, we'll see y'all guys back then uh, to pull it out and to, uh, and to let it rest. And then we'll, uh, after it rests about 30 minutes, then we'll go ahead and slice it up. See y'all back then. All right, guys, it's been almost 10 hours now since we started this project about 6.30 this morning or so. And I'm gonna, got an internal temps of 196 and 195. So let's see how they're doing. Right in. I went right in. Okay. 
in. Still got, still got some give to it. Look how this one's doing. the meter of the paper but yeah we want these things go for a little bit longer here they're um, still not quite there yet well let them go to 200 and see what happens they're almost at a point where they're becoming like a when you push on it, it's going it's almost like pushing in a butter so we'll let these things go for another half hour to an hour and we'll test them in see how they do y'all guys back then all right guys we're back um my uh cyber cue here is saying everything is at 200 degrees so hopefully everything will be right this time and we don't have to sit there and keep doing this so let's pull out the bottom one first oh yeah That one's done. Oh yeah, well, I went right on into it. All right, these are done. Let's get them out of here. Do the top one first, I guess. Switch off gloves here. Okay, let me get this bad boy off here. Oh, it's dripping like crazy, but that's all right. And we'll get the bottom one out here. guys we're gonna foil this up and separate the, the flat from the point and we'll catch you when we get ready to slice the either flat part of it uh, see y'all guys back then all right guys we're back in here we got the um, the brisket it's been sitting a little bit over an hour about an hour and a half in the uh, cooler um, I already cut the point off of it and made my burn ends they're currently in the smoker now they got another 27 minutes in there put them in there for almost two hours so this is the sweet mesquite rub one look at that okay. I'll just pull it over here got to keep the juices in there use our gloves here to pick this up put them in the right hand first all right get a few juices on there put these over here actually I'm gonna need this one to turn turn it all right, we've got to figure out which way this green's running. Green's running this way, so we've got to cut against the point. All right, guys, let's see how this came out. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all guys can see this or not, but... It's be looking good. It's got a nice smoke ring in it. Nice and moist. Hope I'm cutting this 
the right way. It looks like I'm cutting on the grain. So let's look at it. All right. Some piece here. It's a little dry because I, I did. I ended up cutting with the grain. So goop that one up, guys. <laughs> so let's turn this thing around. Let's go from, from this point here. Okay, not the best one in the world, guys. It's a little bit, um, it's cooked, but it's not quite there yet. Still, and it's hot. So, but there you go, guys. Let me get you a good shot of this. Here's a nice smoke ring in that. Next time, I'll cook a little bit longer. Um, it's not quite at a pull. At, it's more like roast beef still. So, Maybe the other one might come out a little bit better. Anyway, guys, uh, that was my first attempt at uh, at a brisket, and uh, hopefully next time maybe a little bit better than that. But we shall see. Anyway, I'll see y'all guys on the next video.